So we, <clears throat> we want to um, be able to ping from or send data from PC1 to PC2, which means we, we want the router to uh, route from um, the, the 10 network to the 11 network. We also want to be able to uh, send data from PC2 to PC1. So obviously uh, the routing should take place in the other opposite direction from 11 to 10. Um, and this routing obviously has to take place inside the router from 10 to 11 and uh, from 11 to, um, to the 10 network. So in order to, um, to configure the router to do this, let me bring up the, um, the router here or workstation. And here we have the router. The router is not powered on, but obviously in order to, to configure it, we have to power it on. So that is what I'll do now. I'll click power on. Uh, we have it running here, indicated by the little green arrow. Um, so, so this is the representation up here of um, of our um, in the diagram the the VSIX that we have over the diagram here. That is what we want to um, configure. In order to configure the router, I will use uh, Potty. I have it down here on my taskbar uh, as an icon here, Potty. So I'll bring that up, and um, I have already saved uh, a session for my VSIX underscore one here. So I'll load that a little um, moving around here. Here we go. I have to hit it there. So there I have my um, uh, my terminal, my window uh, and my keyboard into my uh, VSIX. If I click enter here, I'm in login um, in the login mode here. So I will log in on this brand new SIX. And in the beginning, you can see there's, there's not set um, password. Uh, the, the router can be in different states. We, we started in login state. In order to enter uh, the Linux um, state or the, the operating, operating system on the box, we have to enter username and password. I only entered username, which in my case was root. The reason why I didn't enter a password is that uh, there is no um, password when you have a, just have unboxed and powered on your VSIX. It is in a so-called amnesiac mode, and we have to bring it out of amnesiac by setting um, a password on the box. First, we have to, to enter the actual Junos software we are in Linux, and I'll enter the command line interface, CLI. Here we are, we are now in, um, in command mode, and I enter that, as you can see up here, indicated by entering CLI. That's how you get to command mode. From command mode, we want to enter the configuration editing mode, which we have here. So um, in order to, um, to enter that, uh, we have to type, as it says there, we have to type edit. So that is what we do, edit. And there we are. We are now in configuration mode as indicated over here. Let us get a password entered. So I'll type edit. Uh, system authentication. In order to make things you configure on the router work on the router, you have to issue a so called um, commit. So I will do that now. And um, if you if it takes a long time before anything happens, then that is a good sign because the router is now processing uh, the configuration changes you have made. Normally, if there's an, an error in your uh, what you have typed in in terms of configuration, you will get a response quite fast. We have now set a password. We can test our password setting immediately by typing exit and exit and exit and exit. So we're now totally out. We um, have to log in again. I'm logging in as root and with my brand new password. You will have to stress that you have to remember your password. There's a little issue here. You can see my cursor is up there. So 
and clear screen. I mean, we'll clear, we'll do the job um, as we are in Linux at this stage. So let's, let's enter the CLI again and enter uh, edit mode. It is convenient to set um, a router name that will pop up in, in your prompt. That will help you when you have more routers to work with. Um, so you don't mix up which one you are um, configuring. So um, I'll do that here. You can choose any name. And we can now see that our, our prompt here is now actually reflecting the name of, of um, our VSIX here. So um, that, that's, uh, that's convenient to, to have this. Uh, it, it will help not uh, mixing up things. Now, finally, we are we're ready to configure the, the two interfaces on, on, our, um, on our router, the GE001 uh, and the GE002. So let's configure those interfaces now. And here we see that um, it's, it's uh, good to have your diagram um, here to know what address you have to put in here. So it's the 192, 168, uh, 10 address there. Dot, dot one, uh, sorry, slash 24. Let's configure the other interface, the... Um, GE002. This for the was for the GE001. So let's get GE002 here. And we see over here that's the 11, 11 uh, network here, and it's the dot one address. So, so that is what I have. That is what I have. Commit. And as I said before, if it takes a long time, it's a good sign. Let us speak. And there we go. Uh, everything is okay. We can check our um, the routes that we have set up now, the two routes. All right. That is our routing table. If a packet is for the 10 network, this will be uh, the route chosen. It will go out on next hop, as we see here, on GE001, exactly the, um, uh, the interface we have over here associated with the 10 network. So for example, if something is for our, um, our PC down here, it will go out, um, looked up in the routing table here on the GE001 interface. And likewise, we have uh, the route for the um, dot 11 network right there. So anything for, for that network will go, go out on GE002 um, directed by that route here. So that is what, how, what the routing table looks like in, um, in the SRX, in, in the Junus world. Before we can actually get the routing going, we have to do security settings. The SIX is a security device, and by default, the interfaces are locked down. So let us configure the uh, security settings. So let us uh, configure the security on the box.
And that is all there is to um, configuring the router for, for this networking diagram here. So let's go over now, now and, now and um, check if we actually do have routing between the two networks. So I'll tap into PC1 here and issue a ping over to the 11.2 PC. And uh, there we go. We have um, routing from 10 to 11 and also from 11 to 10 because pings go over to the um, PC2 and PC2 replies back to PC1. So actually routing is working bi-directional in both directions. Let's go over to PC2 and um, check out here if, if we can ping PC1. So let's check if we can ping PC1. A few remarks to what we have actually configured um, in terms of security, even though that's the topic of um, later in this course. We are in the um, security zones configuration level here. And if you issue a, a show, we can actually see what we have configured, what our configuration is. So what the security configuration here shows is that um, we are in security zone trust. What that means is that um, GE interfaces GE001 and 002, they are, let me see if I can hit this, they are in the trust zone. What that means over here in our diagram is that these two interfaces here, the GE001 and the GE002, they are in the um, trust security zone. You can see here that there are no IP addresses involved. This goes on the interfaces. Further, we can, we can see that um, uh, we have allowed pings, we have allowed interface GE001 to reply to pings, and we have allowed GE002 to um, reply to pings. So let's test, test that out. Let us see if, um, if PC1 can actually uh, ping uh, the, um, the router. One, that is, um, that is our router. And we can ping our router. That's a nice little test that we can actually ping our router interface.